doing some special, <laughs> some special thing I can't talk about. But yo, it's cold, not in here, but outside. And Delta's kind of fat friendly, but not really. It's not fat friendly. It's not fat friendly. Hey guys, what's up? Fat Game Boy here. I am in Ohio. I'm in Cincinnati, Ohio. But you guys know when I'm in a new place, I'm gonna hit up the retro stores. So they were kind enough to let me film in here. I'm gonna show you guys my first stop called Nostalgia Video Games. Let's check it out. of 64 games and I'm not even done. I'm here with Adam the Tech and dude, look at this. They put end labels on their games. That's so cool. So how long have you guys been here for? About four years. There's our arcades here. There's... I'm gonna be here all day. <laughs> <laughs> so where can people find you guys on Instagram? Facebook. Um, yeah, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Facebook, Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. All in this style. Yeah. So when well, we get it up and running. Yeah. This reads your N64 memory card, so you can play the game at home and then bring your memory card in and play it on the that. arcade I've never with seen your team. That. Yeah, I we found it when we got it in. That's cool. It's a really cool yeah. piece of the Oh it works? Yeah, th yeah, this one works.
I'm about to have some real White Castle to warm me up. I regret nothing. What's up? Time to show you my pickups. First of all, if you're ever in Kentucky, you gotta stop by Nostalgic Video Games Thrift Shop. Look at this place, amazing. Walls and walls of games, all organized. I swear, some of the games didn't have like the manuals and like the, the inserts or whatever, but they make their own. It looks nice, it looks beautiful. Uh, they put end labels on their cartridges. Amazing, amazing. On the 64 cartridges, how many times do you suffer buying those like standard ones like this like I know this this Glover pop it in play the game okay they they all these cartridges I bought a bunch of 64 games all these cartridges the the stickers are clean um it's it's amazing it's crazy they had a bunch of oh they had a bunch of stuff I think I'm gonna go back I might go back I wasted I went over the budget I gave myself but I just had to because when is the next time I'm gonna come to Ohio you know but now that I know there's a retro community out here, there's retro sellers, there's retro games, I think I might come back. But let me show you guys what I got. So I got Twisted twist, twisted Metal. I got Twisted Edge Snowboarding. Dude, it's got like stickers and writing, but I'm going to tell you guys what I use because people are like, what do you use to uh, clean your cartridges and your systems and your games and all that? So the standard, the standard practice is people use like... Uh, what is it? What is shoe glue? What is that stuff? Uh, Goo Gone? Don't use that stuff. I'm going to tell you guys the secret I use. I use not Magic Eraser because that's the brand name. You're going to, you're going to, I looked it up before I even made this video. You get 50 pack of these things. It's the Magic Eraser, but the generic kind because Mr. Clean's the brand again. A 50 pack of Magic Melamine sponge erasers is like 545. You get five for five forty-five. You get fifty of those magic sponges, and it, it knocks this stuff out. It cleans it out. And for the stickers, don't use Goo Gone. What I use is the um, what are they called? You know the Clorox um, wipes. You kind of just kind of like dab a little bit. You, you grab the wipe, kind of dab a little bit on the sticker, and it starts to peel off. And you can just roll it off. Don't get it on this thing. It will like destroy it. But if you want to get like stickers and stuff off of it, that stuff is amazing. It just kind of like, I use it on my GameCube stuff when they have stickers that you can't, like the old GameStop EB Games stickers, you kind of just rub a little bit on there and then it just peels off easily. Easy as that. You know, Goo Gone, none of that crap. But Magic Erasers for the, for the, for the, for the names, for this stuff, yeah, it works. 50 pack, five bucks on Amazon, eBay, whatever. Oh, Glover. I got Glover. This game I've been wanting for a long time. Again, the nostalgic video games, like, super clean. You know, you're not going to clean everything that comes through. It's going to be, like, forever. It's impossible. But look at this. The sticker is clean. Everything's nice and orderly. It's it's awesome. I liked it. Priced fairly. That's what I love. Fairly. And as soon as I walked in, they were super nice. I was like, hey, guys, I'm a vlogger from L.A. And they were like, fam, go ahead. You can record. I didn't even know Ohio... What is it, Kentucky, Ohio? I don't know where I'm at. I'm in a hotel right now. I gotta get ready, I gotta get dressed, I gotta get going. But I gotta show you guys this place. This spot is legit. I'll show you in the video uh, the place. I'll show you in the video, you know, what I went through and everything. Oh man, if you guys go there, you gotta, you guys gotta talk to Adam. He's awesome. It was Adam, Mike, and Bob, I believe. They were super, super nice. So I got this game, Beetle Adventure Racing. Everybody talks about this one, I got it. Super cheap, super awesome. Uh, I can't wait to play this. I got Wave Race 64. I think I already have this, uh, but this this one looks way cleaner, way cleaner. Shadow Man. You know what? I think I might have this on Dreamcast, but the label again is just incredible. And look at that, end labels. That's cool, man. I don't know why my my voice went high pitched. That's cool, man. I got 1080 snowboarding. Did they make a sequel for the 64 or was this just this one? I don't remember. Oh, this is a player's choice. I didn't even notice that. Who cares? I think I may already have this one, but again, uh, the one I might have in storage, the label was like probably sunburnt from the swap meet. But WrestleMania 2000, I ended up getting a lot of the wrestling games because, man, I guess 
I'm guessing people are just getting rid of their wrestling 64 games, but they come out to be really cheap, but I got them. The WCW Mayhem. Look at that. The label's really clean on that. WCW Nitro. I got WCW NWO Revenge. I remember liking this one a lot. This one was like really cool. NWO was cool. I don't remember these. I think we we might have played the me and my cousins might have played these, but I don't remember these as much as this and WrestleMania 2000. Yo, WrestleMania 2000. Remember when they had gifts? Uh, the gifts for like their videos. Remember before we knew what gifts were? I still remember the day my friend got this at school in high school, and he was like, "Yeah, dude, they got the videos on there." But it wasn't like the complete videos. It was like gifts. The Val Venus intro always cracked me and my cousins up. You know, with the hot dog and the bun and he pops up. It was just hilarious. And to see it in gift form was even better. I think I might have this one already too. I'm hoping I don't. But War Gods. In good condition. I had to clean it up with the magic eraser. But who cares? These things are like, what, 30, 40 years old? How old am I? I don't know. I don't know what's going on anymore. Half the time I don't know how old I am. I had a birthday recently. What, 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 how old am I? I don't know. I got Chopper Attack. I think this might be cool. I don't know. I kind of want to go back and get more 64 games. They're priced so good that I want to go back. Oh, man. Look at this. I'm so happy. For the games that are missing, the the inserts and the manuals, they hook you up with this, like, look at that. They write it out. It's, it's really cool. But I got this one for my girlfriend because she loves this game. And she wanted to take mine, but I was like, no fam, get your own. And they had it there for cheap. Touch of the Dead. This game is freaking awesome. You like use the stylus, you shoot zombies, it's cool. It's cool. Now she's got her own. And it comes in this case, their own custom bill case. They they go they go way out. You should you don't have to do that, but they do. That's that's cool. And then I got this game because I thought, I was like, wait, I always thought this was only like an Xbox exclusive. Sierra made this. And I was like, I think this was an Xbox exclusive. I don't remember it being on other systems. But I got Metal Arms, Glitch in the System. I might already have this. I think I do. I don't remember. I hope I don't. Did I buy Doubles? <sighs> the Retro Gaming Life, bro. I think I might already have it. Trade Bait, I guess. Trade Bait for another uh, Retro Show or something. But it, it's in such good quality. Look at that. Super clean. Super clean. Has the manual. I think I might already have this. This, this is what happens when you retro game hunt. You forget. You, you really have to make a list. Because you forget what you have. I hope I don't have it. But if I don't, I do now. And then the guy that works there, Adam. Some guy traded in a bunch of limited run games. For the Switch and other consoles. But he goes, hey, you like Metal Slug? I'm like, yeah. And he goes, dude, you got to get this game. And it's sealed. Look at that, minty sealed. Um, these are pretty pricey. And limited run games are pretty legit. What is it like they turn the digital into physical? This is cool. And it's if it's like Metal Slug, I'm totally in. And that's about it. Oh, no, I got some other stuff. On the counter there, they had all these buttons. I got this, I got this Spider-Man button. I got this Pokeball, I got this Xbox one, and I got the Sega one. I always get that stuff. These guys are legit. Look at this. Hey, bro. I got your buttons. I got your buttons right here. And that's that's about it. Uh, I think I'm going to head off. I got to do. I gotta get going. But that's what I got. My first batch. I might go back. Subscribe. It's like the Fluffy Gamer. Subscribe, guys. Go ahead. Subscribe. Follow me at Instagram. I am a fat Game Boy. Nostalgic Video Games Thrift Shop. This place is legit. You guys gotta go. Alright, see you.